back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo with another car tutorial video. Today we're going to work on a 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer O2 sensor removal. To get it started off fast, tools you'll need are... You'll need a 10 and 14 millimeter socket. You'll need both, I'm just showing one here. But of course you'll need a wrench. You'll need this special O2 sensor removal plug. It's just a wrench with a flared uh, opening on there so you can put the wire through this opening and be able to fit the actual socket onto the O2 sensor. They do sell an alternative which is this tool right here. Another O2 sensor removal tool. This one installs right onto a socket wrench like so and it has the same kind of deal where the wire fits right in here and then the socket sits right on the O2 sensor. I personally prefer this tool just because it gives you a little more clearance, has a shorter base. This one's pretty long. Unless you need the reach, you're probably better off with this tool. And that's all you should need. If I add any tools, I'll be sure to show you in the video. Here we have a 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer. As you see right now, we're just jacking up the car, getting access to the underside of the vehicle. Here's an underside shot of the vehicle. Right there is the O2 sensor, right above the Cali converter. And this is just uh, showing the routing of the lines. So in this next shot, you'll see me kind of demonstrating how the lines are clipped into the vehicle and how you can just pop those out to get better access. And here's a little cover plate. And these are held down by 10 millimeter bolts. And this cover plate is right underneath the passenger seat and there's just two bolts there that you have to undo and this is just showing you another view of the clip uh, right beside the Cali converter under the passenger seat is a little flap and that's where you'll find the O2 sensor connection plug to get better clearance you want to remove this seat you don't have to take it out the car but you do need to loosen the 14 millimeter bolts here to shift the seat back. There's a shot of the back of the seat and here are the two clips that you need to remove. This plastic clips, you just wiggle them off. Pretty easy. 14 millimeter bolt that you have to remove. Another one. Lefty Lucy to get those off. You may have to do a little cleanup under your seat. Some random stuff gets under there. But now that you have all four 14 millimeter bolts removed, you can shift the seat back as you see in this clip, and then you have better access to the O2 sensor plug. And there's my finger pointing at it. Plug is easy to remove, you just depress the holder clip. Here's a better shot of it removed. There is a grommet on the O2 plug. Your new O2 plug should come with a new grommet, if not, just reuse the original one. Here's a special O2 sensor removal tool. It's just a wrench with a pretty much a thick flare nut on there. It makes it pretty easy to remove the O2 sensor. Just give a little tug, lefty loosey. O2 sensor is removed. Now we'll go ahead and finish removing the cover that's underneath the passenger seat. Again, these are 10 millimeter uh, nuts that you'll have to remove. You don't have to remove this cover, but it definitely makes it easier to route the O2 plug out of the car so we'll go ahead and remove it just for ease and it's very easy to remove so just makes the job a lot simpler here's the cover plate being removed now you have wide open space to go ahead and pull the O2 sensor through the bottom of the car uh, I find it's easier to pull the O2 from the top of the car up and not try to pull the grommet down through the hole so that's what we did. We'll actually in the next shot go in the car and pull the whole O2 sensor assembly up through the car. And this is what we're doing right here. This makes it a lot simpler. There we go. It is removed. Here's a new O2 sensor. It did come pre-applied with anti-seize. Uh, but if there's not enough on there that was pre-applied or there's none on there, that package should come with anti-seize just to make it easier to remove in the future. Again, we'll feed it down through the top of the car. We 
with the new grommet on there. O2 sensor is being reinstalled onto the top of the catalytic converter, righty tighty. Quick note, do not plug in the O2 sensor back into the clip before you do this step because the wire will get tangled up as you're rotating the O2 sensor, so keep it unplugged. Once it's in there tight, reroute the wires back to the clips. And I didn't show you, we did use the O2 sensor tool to reinstall the O2 sensor onto the catalytic converter. Here we're reinstalling the wire onto the cover, the grommet's in place. We'll reinstall the 10 millimeter nuts to hold this down. We're back in the car at the passenger seat and we're reinstalling the O2 sensor plug back in its clip. It just pops right in. Again, this is a tab connection, so you press, depress the tab to remove it and then just plug it back in and it reconnects itself uh, with the tab. There it goes, it's all installed. Close up of what it looks like. Right there in the white clip. Install is now complete. Hopefully your install went as smoothly as ours. If you have any questions, please hit me up down below. Any tips for this particular job, hit me up down below. I love to hear from the community about how to do this job easier and that way other viewers can get that information as well. I'll definitely will tab it, pin it, you know, spread the word. I always enjoy learning from this community as much as I try to teach in these different tutorial videos. So please let me know any tips. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like, please share. That's all for today. Until next time, I'm out.